Good morning, all. I'm Amber Allred. This is Miss Rusalina. This is Sir Elkington. And we are the Rue Crew. Today, we're going to read a fun story and we're going to learn something called financial education. If you watch any of our previous videos, you'll know that financial education is learning about how money is made, spent, and saved. Can you guess what type of money we're going to be talking about today? You might have guessed right if you said quarters. Today we're going to be talking and learning all about quarters. Our story for today is Quarters by Mary Hill. Let's get started on the story. Quarters are coins. Coins are a type of money made out of metal. Quarters are made out of nickel and copper. Quarters are the color silver, but they're not actually made out of silver. George Washington is on the front of the quarter. He was the first president of the United States. And here is a big blown up quarter. And that's George Washington. If we take a look at a real quarter, you can see George Washington on there too. Some quarters have a bald eagle on their backs. The bald eagle stands for strength. And I just so happen to have a quarter with a bald eagle right here for you guys to see. Many people like to collect state quarters. So I actually collected state quarters when I was a kid. They made state quarters from 1999 to 2008, and I have a big map of them. Whoa, <laughs> it opens up over my face. You can see every single state has a quarter with something from their state represented on them. Since we live in Virginia, and Henrico Federal Credit Union and Bellwood Credit Union is located in Virginia, we have a ship and Jamestown on our quarter from 1607 to 2007. This quarter that I have for Jamestown was made in the year 2000. Have you ever seen a quarter with your birth year on it? All of these quarters have fun designs. Are you from another state or do you have family in another state? I have family in Florida. The Florida coin has the gateway to discovery on it. It has an airplane, it has some palm trees, and it has a ship. Mine was from 2004. I also have some family in New York. On New York City, they have gateway to freedom, and it is Lady Liberty. You guys wanna see up close? They're a little hard to see because they're so shiny but every single one of them has something on it that represents the state they are on. So fun. What's your favorite state quarter? Have you ever seen any? Of course, I like Virginia the best too, because that's where I live. We'll get back to the story now. A quarter is worth 25 pennies. Here's them all stacked up. That's a lot of pennies. Four quarters make a dollar. Quarters can be used to buy things from machines. People use quarters to pay for many things. Today, we're also going to look in the Kids Everything Money Book by National Geographic. Lately, we've been having a lot of fun with this book, having fun facts after we have our story. Today, we're going to turn to the chapter that's called Coin Collector's Paradise. We're going to talk all about collecting coins since we already saw my state quarter collection. Coin collecting is a hobby for people all around the world. Collecting can be a serious business too. People buy and sell coins based on the coin's condition. A coin is most valuable in mint condition. 
which means that it looks brand new and probably never used as money. The least valuable is in poor condition, which means the details are worn down and hard to see. Check your pockets. Alert! Always be on the lookout for rare coins. For example, Greek coins called tetradrachms, which is right here, that feature the portrait of Alexander the Great are valued for historical significance. They were minted between 356 BC and 326 BC. Other coins are up in value because of printing errors, such as extra images, missing letters, or missing dates. For example, there is a rare printing of the 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter with an extra leaf printed on the side of its corn husk. The look was caused by accident. If you've got that quarter in your pocket, it can be worth up to $300. For a 25 cent coin, this is what that looks like. Have you seen a quarter like this? I haven't. I wish that I had though. Another valuable coin is the US half dollar printed before 1964. These coins contain 90% silver, so they are worth a whole lot more than 50 cents. The, oh, and here's that picture. A very, very silver coin. The British 20 pence coin is a collector's item because it's missing its date. The coin, originally valued at a fraction of a British pound, is now valued at 100 pounds or 161 US dollars. Here's a picture of that British coin. Collecting coins. People collect coins for their historical connections and beauty. For many collectors, it's a fun hobby and they don't expect to earn a profit from their collections. However, the most valuable coins belong in museums so everyone can enjoy them. Do you have a favorite museum? I like the Virginia Museum of Fine Art. They have some coins there that you can see too. The most valuable coins belong in museums so everyone can enjoy them. Visitors to the Michael C. Rudiger's Gallery for Ancient Coins and in Boston, Massachusetts, USA, can examine details of ancient Greek and Roman coins under a movable magnifying glass and design their own coins. At the British Museum in London, England, coin lovers can trace the history of money back 4,000 years. Another popular collection was housed at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, Egypt. Below contained a collection that included rare coins from the 600 BC, the first ever made. Here's those coins. I would love to go to Egypt to see that. That's pretty far away though. Explorer's Corner. In 1984, underwater archeologist Barry Clifford found the first real pirate shipwreck. The ship, the Wida, was taken over by the pirates in the Caribbean and sank off of Cape Cod, Massachusetts in 1717. Clifford discovered over 10,000 coins and 400 pieces of gold jewelry on board. Many of the artifacts are displayed at the museum in Provincetown, Massachusetts, and nothing will be sold. A ship's history is its real treasure. And here's one of those coins in the corner. That's crazy. Well, thank you guys for joining me today to learn about quarters. One last quick fun fact is that lately, some of the quarters are printed with even more different designs, like women in history or substantial moments in history. For instance, this one is called War in the Pacific and it was printed in 2019. It's a little hard to see because it's shiny, but you can see a man and his gun right here. And then of course, all the way back to the standard eagle and George Washington on the front. Miss Rusalina is gonna keep these quarters for me right here in her pouch. Miss Rusalina is a good saver. Have you saved lots of quarters too? We hope so. And we hope you'll bring them to your account at Henrico Federal Credit Union so you can earn interest in your savings. Interest is when we give you money for allowing us to hold on to your money. So instead of storing it in a piggy bank, you can store it with us and gain interest, which means you get more money by keeping your money in a safe place. It's like a little reward. Thank you guys again for joining us today. Miss Rusalina and Sir Elkington are always delighted that you're here. We'll see you again next month with another fun story and more financial education. Happy Friday, everyone.